hi there. Uh, this is another episode of Iron Drac laying claim to fame. Uh, here is a picture of uh, Ricky Lee Jones. Um, she was uh, quite popular in uh, the uh, late 70s and uh, onward. Uh, I don't actually have a picture of my dad uh, with Ricky Lee Jones. Um, he did meet her though, uh, on one occasion, um, I believe this was after, uh, her and Tom Waits had, uh, split up, um, my history's a little bit foggy, cause you know, I was born in 1986, so, um, yeah, um, well, um, yeah, she, she came to Vancouver, and, um, this was after her, um, her big song, uh, Chucky's In Love, um, that, uh, that was definitely her big one, although my dad's favorite song of hers is, uh, Last, Last, Last Chance Texaco, gotta say that properly, um, yeah, um, he has fond memories of, uh, of, uh, his encounter with her. Um, this was in uh, 1980, I believe, and he did uh, usual kind of things he did with rockers at the time. Um, I believe he mentioned something about driving her around Sea Fox uh, to interview radio personalities uh, on some something about Nelson Street. Maybe that's where roundabouts it was. Um, that day she performed at the, uh, Orpheum, um, my dad has the impression that, uh, she actually didn't mind him, that she actually liked him, um, kind of referring to him as a hipster, and, uh, the term hipster doesn't exactly mean what it means today. Um, my dad tried giving me a definition, but, um, uh, I didn't quite understand it. Uh, something about, you know, nice shoes, nice coat, uh, something along those lines. Uh, not quite exactly sure. Uh, anyway, um, he believes that, um, that she was kind of interested in her. I mean... From some of the pictures I've shown of my dad, he was not a bad-looking guy when he was younger, and uh, as you can see, uh, Ricky Lee Jones, uh, also quite attractive, um, but he got a little spooked. Uh, he didn't really specify why, but uh, he kind of ran up the stairs and, uh, in his words, a uh, speedy retreat. Um, I guess he was just... It was just, uh, it, was too, it was too much for him. He, he didn't know how to handle it properly. Uh, sometimes my dad can, he can get a little funny. He said something about having to check that the bus was still there or something like that, or, the, you know, the tour bus or whatever. I, I have no idea. Uh, he wouldn't talk too much about it, uh, even though he knew it was there and something along those lines. Um, it is noteworthy to mention that, um, Ricky Lee Jones, uh, my dad was under the impression that uh, her manager was a, uh, in fact, a lesbian. Um, he didn't give any indication as to why he thought that, but uh, I don't know if it's true or not. I don't mean it as an insult, but uh, he did note that she was kind of always trying to get in the way. Um, I guess maybe all managers kind of do that. I don't really know. Um, yeah, so, anyway, the thing about this is, no, I don't exactly have a picture of, uh, my dad with Ricky Lee Jones, or Tom Waits, as a matter of fact, and he met Tom Waits several times, uh, he told me a few stories about him, um, and the thing about this Lane Claim to Fame, uh, segment I do on my channel, um, I'm making this video because I feel that this is a noteworthy thing to talk about. Uh, it doesn't mean I don't have more pictures of my dad with other rockers. 
Um, I have ones with one of the Doobie Brothers, Van Halen, uh, another one with Phil Collins, another one with Alice Cooper, um, the Eagles, uh, and a few other ones too. A few other good ones, I might add. Um, but, you know, um, if you're a loyal fan, I really appreciate that, but you can wait. You can wait before I do videos on those ones. I mean, I had my YouTube channel up and going for a year before I put uh, one of the pictures of Alice Cooper with my dad on there. So I can wait <laughs> to put up more video content. So don't start thinking that, oh, he's run out and his lame claim to fame uh, topic is run dry because that's not true. I just wanted to put this up because I thought it was an interesting story and very noteworthy. I mean, I wouldn't expect Ricky Lee Jones to remember my dad, uh, Mick, but um, Tom Waits might remember him. And I wouldn't expect this video to even get that far. I'm not expecting that at all. I'm just trying to, you know, tell my story, and I don't know, maybe it's maybe kind of like a message in a bottle or something like that. Uh, however, the way you want to look at it, if anybody's listening to my channel, then, uh, you know, I think that's cool. And, um... Well, uh, I wish there was more to say, but I think he only met uh, Ricky once, I believe. It, it's like, you know, getting bled out of a stone with my dad on, on certain subjects. Like, I'm really trying to push for this Lane Claim to Fame project of mine. Um, not to sound like a douchebag who doesn't have any stories of his own, but someday that will change. Someday I will have my own stories. And, um... Yeah, anyway, um, I don't have much further to add to this uh, video, unfortunately, due to lack of information. Um, so I guess um, I will, um, yeah, put a pause on this video and um, rummage around my dad's old pictures and uh, share stories that otherwise could be lost to the dust of time if there isn't somebody to tell them. And um, there was uh, one um, episode of Cyanide and Happiness that I watched where the old grandfather goes to tell the, um, his life story to his grandchildren and he turns to dust and disappears um, before he gets a chance to tell them. And that was supposed to be some kind of um, mean-spirited joke. But uh, that's not going to happen with my dad's stories. I'm, I'm going to talk about them. And um, if you don't believe me that my dad actually met this person, even though there are other pictures of my dad with rockers, you're free to do so. But if you do believe me, then you're welcome to hit subscribe. Anyway, it's been great talking to you guys. Have a good one.